work Mahalika Lodge in Narrawarren, where they do amazing respite care for the older Filipino community. And this beautiful lady here is Cora. She's dressed in a traditional costume. She's just been doing some dancing. Tell us about your dance group. Uh, our dance group uh, is um, consisting of um, ladies from late 60s to up to 90s. And your choreographer was how old? 90. 90, 90. there you go. Our choreographer, <laughs> Ati Ludi, is 90. We all support one another and like uh, we complement each other's personality. And you want to tell us about the dance with the the scarf. It's about the scent of a plant that in the early days, you know, there's no perfume. Yes. So what they do is they collect this plant, put it in the handkerchief. It's more like um, courting. So the ladies are putting it in front of the guy. Ah, so it's a courting, a courting the fragrance. dance. The yeah. fragrance to the guy. <laughs> yeah. The same with Capricciosa, it's also part of um, courting. So it's about a, a lady who wants everything and she's always a snobbish thing, you know, <laughs> trying to tease the guys and I'm better than you. So but that's what it's all about. So what would you say to uh, someone of Filipino heritage that's sitting at home feeling a bit isolated and about reconnecting with yeah, their we, culture? Yeah, we uh, encourage them to join. It would help from being isolated and to connect with the Filipinos as well, their own, to, to practice their own dances, tradition and food. Most importantly, food. Uh, anyone who's watching this, please join AFCS, the Australian Filipino Community Services. And you, once you've joined, never want to leave. Hi Mercedes, it's such a pleasure to meet you, such a bright spark today. Me too, me too. <laughs> I hear that you're 59 backwards, so you're 95, <laughs> like, who would think? And a half. <laughs> and a half. Yep. So have you started planning your 100th birthday yet? Oh my God, I have no idea. <laughs> if God permits, that's a good, good blessing. More, more blessing. It's absolutely, me. and to be yes. so healthy at your age. I do not want my daughter to have so much sacrifice taking care of me. If I can do anything, I will do it on my own. I keep myself busy from morning to night. And I have to keep on, you know, socializing, you know. I keep on my exercise and then I do my household work. I help my daughter. When I do my daily chores, after dinner time, I do everything, clean up the kitchen. I get into my room. That's the time I watch TV. While watching TV, my hands are busy. I have my crochet work. I send them to my daughters in the Philippines. So you're keeping your hands busy, you're keeping physically yes, moving, you're, and the social connection's yes, really, really I important. Yes, my mind. I have to be function mentally, physically, emotionally, socially, friendly, but above all, spiritually. What would you say to someone who doesn't know about AFCS? A very good association wherein even the elder ones are given the chance to socially enjoy whatever is given us. And that's a very good idea. It is lovely oh to meet god. you. Oh and my god. Oh Carol. Yeah, I am but a fool. Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> uh, apart from the the activities you have here for respite, AFCS does other things for other members of the community, like younger members of the community. We have a very strong focus on intergenerational programs, bridging the gap uh, between the aged and the young because our seniors came here to look after their grandchildren. And seniors are learning more of the Australian way of doing things, Australian way of cooking, and through their grandchildren, they're learning new words, and the traditions as well of Australia. So there's that exchange of knowledge, culture and experience uh, to make a, a better life in Australia. Fantastic. Now, if someone wants to, who's not Filipino, but they want to learn more about Filipino culture or see some dances performed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what would you suggest? Visit our website. You can also find us in Facebook. You can also call us. Now, I'm sure there's still people out in the community there that have become disconnected from their Filipino roots. Mm -hmm. If they're sitting at home watching us today, what would you say to someone who's feeling a bit isolated but would like to reconnect with the Filipino mm -hmm. community? Join us. Find us. How do you find us through Facebook? If you're living in Gippsland, we have a, um, the local government there, Latrobe. Um, local government knows us through Shepparton. We have a Filipino house and the Shepparton Seniors Club know, where, know us. Filipinos in Ballarat, 
uh, we service them through their moving, swimming, swimming and moving uh, exercises. You can connect there. Now, tell us a bit about your personal situation. You're now, a carer. At the... Now, uh, my husband uh, was diagnosed with cancer. The first diagnosis, he's, they say that he's only got three months to live, but he was so positive that it lasted for six years. Wow, that's um, amazing. Uh, when my husband passed away, I felt so isolated. And a friend from AFCS said, why don't you join the, the group? So I started going out and it brought me up sort of out of the, the dark place. So uh, it, they helped me find my way again to being happy and uh, being active. It's not only for for my mental well-being, it's also for my physical well-being. If someone is a carer too, you look after some of the carers? Mm -hmm. We have every Tuesday uh, information session. We have also community lunch. That's where we invite carers in general from the community. The we take away here at Mahalika Lodge is a unique model because the carer and the care recipient go together. So while the client is having good time with their qualified staff, the carer receive information, but we also do personal care like manicure, uh, pedicure, mm -hmm. hairstyle, cut, things like that. So we uh. pamper them. And I guess the good thing is they are not far away from the person they're caring for. Because so that's the big um, hurdle. They don't want to leave the person they're caring yes. for. What would you say to someone who's thinking of volunteering to help you? If you want to volunteer, we need you. We need help in the kitchen. We need help in information session. Usually we distribute the distribute flyers through uh, letter boxes. We also need uh, volunteers in the internet. Someone who will post uh. our photos, uh, put together our newsletter. We also need people who can do wellness calls. Some people are just at home. They don't want to go out. They don't want to be involved, but they're happy to talk over the phone. Mga kababayan, narito po kami sa Maharlika Lodge, ang Australian Filipino Community Services para maglingkod sa inyo. Kailangan lang po kayo tumawag sa amin at hanapin kami sa website namin www.australiaafcs.org.au at marami po kami iahandog sa inyo. Kaya wag po kayo malungkot, wag kayo mag-isa. Uh, Karamay niyo kami. Salamat po. We've looked at Scottish dancing, square dancing, rockabilly and today, Filipino dancing. Keep your cultural heritage alive by checking out the groups in your area. For information on the Australian Filipino Community Services, Mish Wright or any other guest on the show, head over to our website. Connect with your over 50s community through Facebook, YouTube or Insta. Regulars know that movement is my thing, the secret ingredient for living a fun, quality long life. Thanks to the newbies for joining us today. We'll see you again soon. I'm Carol O'Halloran. Over 50, so what? watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? <laughs>